guys, welcome to a new video. So today, we're talking about one of the most beloved game series to my heart, and one of the most anticipated games of 2015, Star Wars Battlefront 3. This game is supposed to be one of the best games coming out this year, and I'm here to tell you guys whether you should buy it or not, and this is not based on my opinion, I'm telling you what they're adding and removing from Battlefront, which was in Battlefront 2, or is going to be in Battlefront 3, or I guess, I'm trying to just make that up. Bit, bit, bit logical for people, you know what I mean, because I'm mad at explaining things. But let's move on to the video. Here's the chart to show the differences between Battlefront, uh, one, uh, Battlefront, the new one, and Battlefront 2. Um, show what they removed and add to the game. We'll fill that chart up as we go along, but let's get started with what they've added and removed from the game. So we're going to first start talk about the multiplayer. The first thing they're doing to the multiplayer is making it 20 versus 20 battles, which in my opinion is kind of really bad because I used to love to have 64 um, battles with people, other people, which just kind of makes me sad, but, you know, it's, I mean, EA, they're the ones making the game, by the way, if you didn't know that. They were in the mailing game titles, not trying to be anti against them, and but DICE is also helping them, so this game could be good or bad either way. Also, by the way, I want to clarify that I'm not against or with DICE, EA. I just dislike EA Sports. Or, I'm not EA Sports, so I'm talking about. And I despite EA games and what they've done to a lot of games, such as SimCity, and kind of destroyed those types of games. But, I'm not with or without them. Also, I want to clarify, a lot of people are suspecting this to be kind of like Battlefield. Um... And I don't know why people are really suspecting this. This is Battlefront. I mean, it kind of has the same name, but it's Battlefront. It's not Battlefield at all. It's nothing like Battlefield. And the reason for that is it's just how it's been laid out. This one could be like that, but it's Star Wars, which makes it a completely different game because of how the mechanics work in Battlefront 2 and so on. The second thing they're doing to the game is they're removing um, the prequel or the old, the, or the Sith versus the Republic side of the game. They're only making it like uh, Empire versus Rebe Rebels, like the old one. And a lot of people are complaining or saying to those people that like me that kind of hate that idea that this is a remake of the first Battlefront because it doesn't say Battlefront 3, it just says Battlefront on the game thing. So. In that case, you could see it either way, but I see it as a, um, like a very big setback, because that's really, like, the public versus the cis is so much fun. And, I mean, they could make it to a PG, I mean, well, they could make it E for everyone if they did that, because, ten, you know, um, they're fighting robots, I'm just kidding. Yeah, they should always have the Empire and Rebels fighting each other, but it's just a big setback, for, in my opinion, that they remove the Republic from the game and Sis from the game, the Separatists. It just makes me kind of sad, but, I mean, it's their decision. Alright, let's look at our chart so far. So here's everything um, that we've covered so far. Um, we've only filled out the cons, and I'm going to keep talking about the cons, and, and then we'll talk about the good things about the game. Um, also, multiplayer is going to be the main uh, thing up in Battlefront 2. Don't know why, but most of the time, um, you're going to have to have internet to mostly play most of the game. Um, because, I mean, that that's basically how they're going to do it. I mean, there is going to, it has been confirmed that there is going to be single player bots versus you. But, we don't know if you're going to have a galactic war yet. Um, hopefully a lot of people are hoping for that, especially me, that was the coolest part of Battlefront 2, when you used to have a galactic war, like, so, so cool. And if they remove that, it just made me so sad. But, but that's another con. Uh, now it comes for the most disappointing part of this game, and mostly why I don't want to buy it right now. And it's because, surprise, for most of you, there is no, and I repeat, no space battles in the game. So... They're focusing only on land battles right now. And it's just so disappointing to see them take away such a big part of the game, in my opinion. That's such a big part of the game. That you basically just lost. You know what I mean? I used to... That was, my, like, the favorite part of it. It's like, you only have land, grand battles now? I mean, are you serious? Are you serious, EA? Space battles changed the way you played Battlefront. 
It made it so much cooler, finer, and everything in between. Even though, I don't know if finer is a word or not, but it, it's just make it better. I have space battles. And removing that just makes me, it just makes me cringe. Uh, I'm still going to buy the game because look at those graphics, though. But it's just so hard right now. It's so hard to decide. Now some pros of the game. They are adding a cool feature um, to ground battles where you can have dog fights in um, the air um, around, uh, over the battlefield. Um, kind of like War Thunder airplanes and tanks. Um, you're going to be playing on the ground as there could be someone could be in a jet flying over you. But a lot of people, that's why a lot of people think it's like Battlefield because that's basically just changing a battlefield to a battlefield feel. Because you know you're just driving around. On a space, I want you're not supposed to be driving around, but it's just like jets in the air, reskinning everything. And I mean, this is cool, cool like feature, but I still want, I want, um, I really do still just want space battles. Collector War hasn't been confirmed yet, but this is basically all the cons of the game. Well, that's not really a con; that's more of a pro. I'm gonna put that as a pro, but that's just, I mean, it's, that's gonna be part of the game. Uh, a, another pro of the game is they're adding new planets to the game, which in my opinion is actually quite cool. Like planets that you didn't see in a Star Wars actual, like, movies and stuff like that, like Fuchsia, I think it's called. Um, I would have to, I have to, I have to go research on the lore a bit more. Um, but, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, Fuchsia and some other planet you can get if you get the, um, if you get the, uh, what you may call it. Uh, early access. Um, there you go. Early access. Um, for the game. So, I mean, yeah, you can play on the planets. A new planet in the early access if you buy it now. Now, I want to talk about one more thing. Is a lot of people are suspecting they're adding droids and Republic in the DLCs. And there's supposed to be a lot of those coming out. And I'm, I'm crying because of that. Because literally, buying DLCs for a game that you really don't want to buy DLCs for. Because, I mean, there were a bit of DLCs for Battlefront 2. I didn't buy them. Because um, I had this on my PS2 mostly. But, yeah, I mean. You just have to, you have to, you have to look for what they give you. You know? Uh, but I'm really kind of. Achy about DLCs with them, EA, microtransactions. Also, I'm scared about that if they add that to the game. But we we'll have to see how it goes. So that's mostly all I want to say. Um, I am gonna try and fill out that chart real quick because it's gonna take like a little while. But um, that's basically all I have to say about Battlefront. I probably won't buy it, but. Most likely I will because I love that game. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.